now we'll get back to all the things that we had meant to talk about. Let's go to the Philadelphia Eagles, who are competing with the Dallas Cowboys currently for the basement in the NFC East. They're trying to get out of it. They have the Saints coming to town this weekend. Not an easy way to turn it around. And Jalen Hurts, the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles as the Saints head into town. Uh, Look, I'm not surprised by this when Carson Wentz got benched against the Packers on Sunday and Hertz went in. It tells me that whoever in the organization has been pushing for Hertz finally has won and Wentz is playing poorly. What else do you have to lose? Maybe this is what turns your your season around. Although last year what turned the season around was Wentz playing really well even though everyone else was injured and they found a way to win four in a row to win the division. I think they've seen enough from Wentz, Shireen, to realize that's not going to happen. And they're just admitting it, even though this guy's making a ton of money this year, a ton of money next year. It's all guaranteed next year. There's some guarantees going into 2022 as well that they have to put someone on the field that they think has a better chance of winning. I think, Mike, that they hope that he provides a spark and turns this thing around. But frankly, you're also looking at 2021. You know, we've talked repeatedly and you've written about it that Carson Wentz, because of his money, is going to have to be on the roster next season. That doesn't mean he has to be the starting quarterback. And you really want to know what you have in this guy who's been sitting on the bench for most of the season. He didn't play much uh, in those first few games, and they need to see what they have in him. Do they need to go out and maybe try to get a Nick Foles or somebody else to come in and be the bridge quarterback? Or is Jalen Hurts really your quarterback of the future? And this gives him a chance, at least a little window here, to see what he has in him believe he is a franchise quarterback and Mike I wasn't surprised by the decision I was surprised by the timing of the decision and I think it's really stupid on the Eagles part to come out and announce now that that Jalen Hurts is going to be their quarterback do you remember back Sean Payton kept repeatedly saying I'm not going to tell you whether Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston is going to start. And we debated that thing the entire week. And I'm sure, I can't remember who they played that week. Uh, Falcons. Was, was game planning for Falcons. Were game planning for both quarterbacks. That, to me, is the most amazing thing about this, is that they actually announced it today on a Tuesday off day, giving the team they play the entire week to prepare for Jalen Hurts, where they would have had to p- prepare for two quarterbacks, and that's now not going to happen. Coincidentally, that topic comes up in my discussion with Sean Payton. So if you stick around and watch the Payton interview, you will hear why he did what he did and why he ultimately believes when you're facing a team like the Eagles where the two quarterbacks have roughly the same skill set. It it doesn't matter if you don't know because your game plan is roughly the same. And I also think Doug Peterson, at this point when everyone has low confidence in Philadelphia and things aren't going well, I think Peterson's sufficiently self-aware to know he doesn't have the same sway in the locker room that Peyton has to get everybody to shut the hell up about it. Because once someone gets the first team reps tomorrow at practice, someone's going to say something. And they're not going to care that Doug Peterson may not like it because right now the sizzle isn't connected to Doug Peterson. I had a thought when we were talking about Carson Wentz's future. And I don't know how much sense this makes, but Frank Reich was the offensive coordinator the year that the Eagles won a Super Bowl, the year that Carson Wentz was the MVP favorite until he tore his ACL. And they've got Phillip Rivers on a year-to-year arrangement. I wonder if they could maybe try to unload Carson Wentz onto the Colts. I mean, they'd have to be willing to take on $25 million in cash and cap obligations, but $25 million is what they are paying Phillip Rivers. So uh, there may be something to that. There may be something to that. I, I hadn't thought of that until just now. I've, I've, I've racked my brain, Shereen, trying to think where could they put Carson Wentz. And the one that does make sense to me is the Indianapolis Colts. And I have wondered, Mike, how much of Frank Reich leaving, because it did coincide with the injury and then Carson Wentz coming back from that injury and it kind of his downfall, how much of it is the injury? 
How much is it of Frank Reich not being there anymore? And how much is it of him not having the weapons in the offensive line in front of him and around him? And all of those things, I think, are factors, but it does make sense from the standpoint of if Frank Wright still thinks a lot of Carson Wentz for them to get Carson Wentz as their quarterback. Philip Rivers' situation is going to be complicated, A, by his age. Uh, today is his birthday, by the way, 39 years old, I believe, today. And so today's his birthday. We know his age. We know he wants to keep playing, or he said he's wanted to keep playing. But he is going to have to have all-season foot surgery. So that complicates everything in, in his free agency and whether the Colts decide to re-sign him or not. So it does absolutely make sense that that might be the one place that you could get rid of Carson Wentz if that's what you're looking to do in the offseason. And then the question becomes, who's your quarterback next season? Which now we're to Jalen Hurts to figure out if he can be that guy. December 8, a good day for Phillip Rivers. This Time frame, though, not a good window for Carson Wentz. How about this? It was December 10 of 2017 when he suffered the torn ACL in a game at the Los Angeles Rams, ending his season, opening the door for Nick Foles to become the Super Bowl MVP. December 9, 2018, he exits with a back injury that let Nick Foles take the team to the brink of the Final Four. A dropped all Sean Jeffrey pass, derailing an opportunity to beat the Saints in their own building. And now December 8, 2020, benched for Jalen Hurts. And, you know, I keep thinking back to the Jay Glazer report from the weekend on the Fox pregame show that people in the organization believe that Carson Wentz had his confidence shattered by the Jalen Hurts selection. And, hey, if that is true, if your confidence is going to be shattered by that, then maybe you don't have what it takes to be a franchise quarterback in the NFL. Look at how Aaron Rodgers responded to Jordan Love being taken in round one, and they traded up. And if this is true, and I don't have any reason to doubt Glazer, it makes you wonder, does Carson Wentz have top to bottom, inside and out, the, that metal, that toughness to get it done? And we haven't seen him get it done with the season on the line because every time it's happened, he's gotten injured. And last year, it was that illegal hit from Jadavian Clowney that knocked him out of the wild card game. We didn't get to see whether or not he could lead the Eagles to a victory in the postseason. So so maybe this is an important glimpse for the Eagles on the the ultimate limitations to what Carson Wentz can do for them or really anyone else. I listened to his entire press conference on Sunday, Mike, and you know, he said all the right things and said that that never factored into his confidence when they drafted Jalen Hurts. He's still confident. He's never lost that, but something has happened to Carson Wentz. And if it's not his confidence, then the, the Eagles probably have bigger problems. But I don't know if that's something you can repair or not. And it's going to be interesting to see from now on, the rest of the season, into the offseason, if they can repair that confidence or whatever was shattered with Carson Wentz. Uh, because we, we remember back to the 2017 season before his ACL injury against the Rams. And he was an MVP candidate. He looked like one of the best quarterbacks in football, which is why the Eagles signed him to that huge extension. And he just hasn't been the same guy, particularly over the last year and a half. Uh, he's just struggled. And uh, maybe it is the, the lack of playmakers around him, the lack of an offensive line. He doesn't trust his offensive line getting hit so much with so many injuries. I don't know. But this isn't the same guy we saw in 2017. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.